Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case some some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com i would advise you guys to check in with your sun moon and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um to connect with you but basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading hi there scorpio scorpio sun moon and rising sign this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com so um as you guys can see i'm doing things a little bit more differently for this month and my upcoming readings in the future for 2020 onwards is going to be on a similar theme it's not really exactly new because when i first started doing youtube this is how i usually do my readings it's usually a channeled reading combining every information that I'm getting through tarot cards, Lenormand Oracle, Dices, and all of the medium um, tools that I have over here. So it is my hopes and dreams that this information will be a lot more specific for for you guys so that it can help you navigate the energy for the upcoming month so um yeah again you know it might be general it might be specific um but just to know that you know you may resonate with it and you may not all at the same time and the only way to really take a look on your personal situation is to have a private session with me you can do so that on my website in starsbychrissy.com but um yeah without any further ado let's get on with the reading scorpio scorpio you I kind of feel that for this reading though, I am focusing on a man who is a Scorpio. So it could be, if you're a woman watching this video, it could be that this reading is something that your person, the man in the story, your partner is probably undergoing this scenario, this situation. Or if you are a man watching this video, then this could be what's going on with you. That kind of thing. So um, yeah, just um, make sure it's vice versa. So I don't have to always repeat that each and t every time. But with the way how this reading goes, I really feel that it has a lot to do with a male person, with a man. So um, anyway, let's begin. So someone is being burdened, being confused with a lot of things. Let us begin with Lenormand, let's say. We have the, the clouds and clover tree man and cross over here so there has been some form of disappointment that has occurred in your love life and relationship 
And it makes sense because the first card that we have over here are two suffering cards, which is the Three of Swords and Five of Pentacles. So it does tell us that there is a relationship here that disappointed us. Or you might feel as if you are longing a relationship that is not working out or you feel that the other person has left you hanging. Maybe they are leaving you out in the cold or there is just some form of disappointment that you are having in terms of a relationship. But it does show us that you are going to recover from this. There is a recovery that I'm getting here. But what I want you to understand is that if you are dealing with this man, I kind of feel that relationship is just one of the troubles that they are having right now. It seems as if they have more burden in their life and in their situation. And maybe losing you or having problems with you is worsening this day by day. Or it could be months, months from now, you know, maybe this has been such a long time. But for some reason, for this month of December, I kind of feel that there is a re-triggering of all of those emotions. They are looking back on you, looking back on the relationship. This is clearly a situation wherein you have not clearly moved on from a relationship. Because you're still hanging on with that energy. You could be with another partner already, you know, you don't have to be single, but you can be. But I kind of feel that regardless of your relationship status, there is really something that pains, pains you, gives you an element of suffering, and you are not able to take action on that energy, on that emotions that you're getting here. I'm getting here that you love this person, whoever this is. Whatever situation that did not work out, that left you with disappointment, suffering, and problematic situation, you have real feelings in that relationship. You have dreamt. You had a lot of dreams of, of being with this person, maybe marrying this person. There's just so much you want with this relationship because it is something that fulfills you physically, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. They complete you, basically. You may have focused elsewhere, though. I kind of feel that in the past, you have been focusing on other areas of life. It could be that you are focusing on someone else, even, you know. But you still keep thinking about this person. You're thinking about them, but you're not exactly doing anything to be with them or to talk to them. I just kind of feel that, you know, everything is in your mind. There's a lot of mental distress that I'm picking up here, which, and the things I'm, I'm saying now is something that you have already experienced. Maybe you are experiencing it right now as we speak. Or it's something that has been going on with you even in the past few months. And the emotions and passion is becoming stronger by the day, basically. It is being shown here that you wanted to make peace with, it, with this person. And usually whenever we have the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here, there is a possibility that maybe there were arguments in the relationship. There were arguments that has occurred 
and maybe you wanted to reconcile, make peace with that person, make peace with that relationship. I do see here that longing of wanting to reconnect with someone. And it makes me feel that, you know, you might come into terms of intuitively taking action to connect with them. But all at the same time, there is also a sense here wherein you're just looking at them from afar. Maybe stalking them or checking them out online. Those kinds of things. There is a sense here wherein you feel that things are impossible. Maybe you are starting to feel that they are out of your league. Something like that. There is an, a sense of coldness as well. That I'm picking up here. You know that they were the perfect person for you. You know that they are the one. And I kind of feel that you are on your way to making a connection with them. But I don't think it's going to be happening exactly within the month of December. So basically what I'm getting here is that the internal process of what's going on the things that you are feeling and you are planning or the other person is feeling and planning. That kind of energy. I really like the fact that, you know, we, I'm, not sh I'm not sure if you guys can see, but you have this the Knight of Pentacles facing the Queen of Cups. And this is the posi position of you and environment the other person so you know it feels like someone is taking their time to connect with this person maybe so you know this is a person that has been wanting to do things in a very practical way but Eventually, their feelings is telling them otherwise. You do want to start a new venture, a new connection with this person. But I kind of feel that the entire December is really more on figuring things out, how you can do that. How can you talk to this person when things have gone salty? Or things have become so complicated. Also, there were questions in your mind wherein, is this the right thing to do? Should I do this? There is also an element of trust. An element of questioning if, this, if you should continue this relationship or not. I just know that you are contemplating things. Someone is contemplating on a scenario, whether to talk to them, whether to enter back someone's life or not, whether to trigger change to occur or not. But I do see here that the end result, eventually they will come out they will talk, they will communicate. Maybe around next year, within 2020. It's possible that they do it within December, but maybe at the end of December, I'm not sure. I just kind of feel that this is a time wherein they are taking a closer look, not only with their feelings, but with their mind as well. As if, you know, they want to make a decision that they're not going to regret. But at the same way, they don't want to be hasty all as well. So it's like they're thinking about a lot of things. A lot of contemplation is being in store here. For the most part, 
they are filled with worries and depression, I would say. Worries, confusion, depression. Maybe they think that they are going to be feeling better if they move on. But what happened was with that, with that fighting, with that argument, with that separation between you and this person, they've only realized that their feelings have gone a lot more stronger and that they really want to be with you. Right now, it's not just feelings alone that I'm getting here. It's more on the action. What can I do? How can I be in touch with that person? How can I see them? How can I talk to them? There is that energy. So I kind of feel that, you know, if they are resisting to talk to you, or if you are resisting to talk in talking to someone else, this could be the month we're in, you know, it feels like some something is eating you alive. And the reason why this is happening is for you to realize that the best way to deal with this is to not resist the energies, not resist what's happening, not resist what you are feeling. You will find out something. Some form of news is going to be entering here, which can really set you free at the end of the day i do see here though that there's definitely some form of communication after some deliberation there could be messages that is going to be happening someone is definitely thinking of you or you are thinking of someone else and they are going to take action on that yes so there are too many indications of a man here. So I kind of feel that, you know, all of these emotions, deliberations is coming from the man itself, not really the woman. I mean, you guys would know better, but I just kind of feel that this is for a man. So it's either... If you're a Scorpio woman dealing with the man, this could be the man. Or if you're a man watching this video, then this is about you needing to deal with all of this confusion. Also, you might be battling with your own ego. You know, you don't want to talk to that person. You don't want to, to be the first one to connect with them. You want to move on, but you can't move on. Those kinds of energies. And you are too afraid of what can happen. Is it going to be a cycle again? Getting together and then breaking up? Those kinds of things. So, um, yeah, there is that kind of energy. I really don't know how to summarize this. I just know that it's really more about deliberation of of the past you know i kind of feel that you have longing about this person and you are now coming into terms and in getting ready to face them you're looking at them wanting to start anew and pages are all about communication. Let's not forget that. And we also have the stork card here. So, yeah, there's definitely going to be communication at the end, though. But right now, it's really more about the re realization that I cannot run away and ignore this feeling anymore. That kind of thing. We have here the card of you and your loved ones are safe. The freedom card. And the message telling us that relax, everything is okay. Because I kind of feel that, you know, whoever this person that I'm connecting with, they are having a lot of worries on what can happen, what to do, or they're thinking too much of 
the future to the point wherein they're missing out on taking action in the present moment. Sometimes you are you keep planning and thinking about things, but things don't ever work out in the way you envision things to be. So sometimes all you got to do is to take action and do it. If you are this person, do you know that the other person feels the same way? This Queen of Cups is also waiting for you. And all you really need is to move and take action towards them. The feeling is definitely mutual. So right now what's happening is someone is waiting. You are waiting. That is why nothing is happening. And as a man, as a person with the horse, you need to take the first step. Take action. Do something about it. Also, I kind of feel that this woman, whoever this woman is, is highly intuitive. So you know that someone is about to take action towards you. You will have an idea that someone is now entering back your life. That kind of energy. So whatever you're feeling the first time, the first part. I kind of feel this is more of a trigger wherein you cannot stand the situation any longer. And that is why you are now venturing to start and begin something new again. You want to start something new, but you also fear that it may not last long. And I'm not here to tell you if it will last long or not because it's not really being shown here. But this is really more of a reading that is giving you guidance that nothing is gonna start if you don't act, if you don't do something. A relationship needs to work out by communicating, by showing up. Not by just thinking alone, but thinking together, working together, that kind of energy in place. And that is really what you have to know. If you already acknowledge that this is a perfect man, this is the perfect woman, and this is the perfect relationship for you, then what are you waiting for? Why are you avoiding to take action? I kind of feel that you're not really avoiding to take action. You just don't like the stress. But for me, I would say, what is worth it for you? If it's worth it, then why not, right? I'm pretty sure that if you guys had any troubles, the silence, the the space that you had has already given you clarity. She has learned her lesson. You have learned your lesson. And it's now time to face each other and really talk about it. And talk about your future and how you guys can work together. How you guys can connect and talk to each other once again. How you guys can make it work. Again, basically, is what I'm getting here. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of healing at the end of the cycle of this situation. But I kind of feel that, you know, whoever this person is, they are going to feel the, the depression and sense of longing of wanting to be with this person. And they will realize that, you know, it's like something is going to force them to act. Something is going to force them to take action to connect with a certain person. Because they have come to realize that at the end of the day, even though that true love can be quite fickle at times, it's something that they don't want to lose Again, that kind of energy. 
So, um, yeah, that's really what I'm picking up with this reading, Scorpio. I'm really not sure if this is going to be connecting with anyone at all because it's not the typical reading that I pick up. So, um, yeah. But I hope that one way or another, someone will find it insightful and gain clarity to a situation and maybe help you in navigating the energy. If you'd like a more personal reading to check into your own personal situation and your own prediction to what's going to be happening for you personally for the month of December or, you know, onwards, whatever you'd like to take a look on, just get a personal reading with me in the stars by Christy.com. And if you haven't subscribed to my video yet, please do so by clicking that subscribe button and ticking the bell icon to make sure you don't miss any upload videos that I make. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and I shall see you again next year.